presents Ambulance, Wine, Women and Keith. Come on, sort yourself, sort yourselves out. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I went away to see when I was 15. I joined the old Queen Elizabeth. You were a young boy trying to do what the big boys do, and I, I drank too much. And um, alcoholism really got, got a hold of me, got a grip of me. And the thing that keeps me sober today more than anything, I, I think, is that a number of people gave me a chance for the future, and I took that chance. No! Can you remember the moment when you admitted to yourself, uh, I am an alcoholic? Yeah, when I came out of a fit. I had a, a rum fit. I remember sitting down and thinking, Christ, all my mouth was bleeding. And I thought, no, I remember sweating. I was nine and a half stone. And I just thought, no, this is it, this is it. And it, <laughs> people say about your life going before you, it does, it does. I thought of what I'd lost in Southampton, my home. I'd lost my wife and I thought, no, no, this is no way. That was 20 years ago. Tonight, Keith Lloyd and Ron Lilly have been called by the police. A man brought to the cells after he'd been drinking has been taken ill. Andrew, good evening to you. Do come in, do come in. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you. Okay. What's the damage? He's had a drink tonight and he was picked up drunk and incapable. He suffers from diabetes. Which you understand? Yeah. Let's see. I was frightened, really, of stopping the alcohol because when you stop drinking, that's when you start getting the withdrawal symptoms. I respect it. I respect alcohol for what it is. It's a better man than what I am. Right then, Stephen, the idea is we take you up to see a doctor. You. Many of the emergency calls covered by the ambulance crews are related to alcohol. Sorry, what did you say, Sergeant? We had a spell. What is it got? If it's a drink related incident, then different incidences warrant different types of attitude sometimes. I mean, if you've got a guy that's. Um, that's in the pub, been in a punch up, wants to kill everybody. I just stand back and let him get on with it. I've got no time. I, I don't want to get involved anymore. Sorry. Don't worry, Stephen. You've got a guy that's living at home, he's lost his family, his wife's died, and he's just got nothing just except a bottle. I've got a lot of time and understanding for that man. I've got a bit more compassion for him. Um, I understand how he feels. I know what it's like to be at 2 o'clock in the morning, very lonely, and all you've got is a bottle, and you clean this dirty shirt to put on. Uh, you know, that's, I, I can understand. Sue Halliwell and Julie Cope are the only women working on the emergency crews. I thought you'd have gone down through the centre, suggesting that, well, I'm granted, but I've got on the wrong line, so. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she was mugged or something. Mrs. Yeah. Henley was a victim in a mugging. Now she has chest pains and needs to go to hospital. Well, what, what we'll do is get a little chair for you. All right, Mrs. Henley, <coughs> and, and wrap you up and carry you out <coughs> to the ambulance. All right, don't, <coughs> don't upset yourself. Don't upset yourself. This, this is all in pain, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, very well. All right. And then here, Henley. OK. <coughs> Can I help you this side? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. All right, just go steady. Gently, gently down. I think perhaps we take a different attitude to some of the men. I'm not saying better or worse, or, but we've obviously looked at things differently. I suppose because women had never been on the service in the first few years we were there. I mean, there was obviously the chauvinists. Most of which are left now. Most. <laughs> <laughs> you, you eased them out, you mean? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I mean, there was quite a large turnover of people in the early days that I was on. But, I mean, we've got one or two, perhaps, that are a bit chauvinistic, but 
generally speak when they're all right. Some are going to this happen. It's like a family, isn't it? Ninety-nine percent of them I like, and I just think of them as good friends. Don't even really think of them as being men. You don't, do you? If you work with male or female, you, you, they're just people you work with. You don't really put a sex to them. They, they took you up to the hospital, did yeah. they? Yeah. We found that sometimes when we haven't been on duty together, um, we miss each other's company because sometimes you look for a female to talk to at work, and so um, we enjoy sort of that aspect of it. Do you spend time together off duty as well? Yes, we do. Uh, a reasonable amount, don't we? We mm. enjoy going out for a meal and, and things like that. Yeah. And we've tried to do a bit of studying together recently since yeah. we started our paramedic kind of studying. But yeah. uh, we always try to get out once a month. A motorcyclist has been knocked off his bike. Keith Lloyd and Ron Lilly are on their way. Uh, you had a helmet on? Yeah. Can you move your head around? Yeah. Any soreness yeah. in your neck? No. Lift your arms yeah. up for me. Yeah. Take a nice deep breath. Yeah. Any pain in the chest? No. Nothing in the stomach? No. Okay. Yeah. Which leg is it that actually hurts? Left. The left one? Yes. Right. Uh, left. Can you feel my finger on the outside of your thigh? Yes. You can, right. You tell me when the pain, when I get down, right, just there? Yeah. Okay. There? Yeah. Right. Don't, don't, don't move it, you can possibly help it. Every individual job has a different merit. You can never say, you go to an incident where it was just a broken leg, or it's just a broken nose, or it's just a broken arm. I would not have just a broken leg. It's dreadful. Right, all we've done simply is just put your legs into a plastic box, all right, all right. Or, or one of them. There are things that stick in your mind. I had two cop deaths in 20 minutes, and that threw me. I'd been in the service for 18 months, and the phone went up, and I said, yes. So I think we've got a cop death for you, and I thought, oh, here we go. We went to it, came back. And I sat on the station, the phone went again, and then he said, we've got a Charles Dock for you then. I said, not again, we've just done one. And went to it, oh, and it was dreadful. I remember that woman till the day I die. That is when you feel inadequate. Please towards me. Keith's going to come in behind. Whose rug was that that we, uh, we had? Was that someone from a shop? I don't know. Whose coat? Who's, who's rug? Is it? Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Yep. One, Hello. two, three. Yeah. Good idiot. Thank you, Mr. Foxman. Sandy Powell and Julie Cope have been called to a woman suffering severe stomach pains. Hello, carry on. Where are we? Very tall. Hello. That's it. Hello. Mrs. Swaxton. Hello. I think I've got appendicitis. Might be more comfortable if you sit forward. Sometimes it helps. Rather than, than laying flat, well, I find, if you've got a lot of abdo pain. Eh? Sometimes helps if you'll, you'll sort of crouch forward more. Okay, hurts. <clears throat> well, just get a central. Okay. Right, okay. Yo ho ho. Hold on, Sandy. Drop me down, Julie. <laughs> It's always a way, patients that can't walk are at the top of the flat. Patients that can walk are at the bottom. Where are you? All right. All right. Deep breaths, and you can hear the valve going. That's it. Okay. 
The crew have been told to take Mrs. Theakston to Ward E2 at St. Mary's Hospital. You, you will feel just a little bit dozy, a little bit drunk. That's it. Just keep going. Derek Healy and Nigel Powell have been called to a nearby school playing field. What's your hand there, Richard? I was in the scrum, pushed sideways, my yeah. leg. Where's the actual pain now? Around the knee? The area. left side of the knee. Left side of the yeah. knee? Yeah. Yeah. Have you got a lot of pain with it? Quite a bit. Well, yeah. we'll give you some Entinox, OK? Yeah. You take hold of this, Richard, in the right hand for me, put it up to your face and breathe deeply for me. OK, can you hear that noise? Yeah. You can hear that, it's working. Continuous press of it, aren't they? Richard? He's not this fact you need that, is he? No. We want the green. Yeah. Okay. How does that feel? Okay, Richard. Any left ones okay? But St Mary's know nothing about Mrs Theakston's arrival. She, no, she, no, they phoned E2 at QA and they said, yes, we are waiting for the lady to come in. It's a good job we, uh, I went into E2 ward, um, see if the patient was expected there, and they said, no, try E6. So I went up to E6, they didn't know, then I went to E5, and I've been on the whole block here. The last ward I went to was E3. And the girl said, no, we've got no notification of anybody. So she kindly phoned Queen Alexandra Hospital at Cosham. And it's the ward at E2 at Cosham. We'll get you there as quickly as possible, all right? Oh, please, Just take as much as you can. They phoned up St. Mary's. Who is it? Oh, she's obviously... Three. We did say E3. Did you? Right in that. Right, We've been to E2, E3. What's all this, then? This is three, Thrixton. Thrixton, is it? Have you been to E3? No, no, we were told E2. You're right. Originally, E2 St. Mary's. Oh, hello. It's staff nurse on E2. Are you expecting a Sandra, Sandra Thrixton? OK, then. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's E3. Okay. I found, well, they, they found up with St Mary's. No. Oh, no, they didn't tell us. They just oh, said well, it's E2QA. Yeah. E okay. yeah. <laughs> Where are you going to? We're going oh, yeah, to bed, that's hopefully. Yeah. 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 She's in a, an awful lot of pain. <laughs> We've had her on board for about half an hour now. Yes. Been to St Mary's first because we were really? doing something. Really? Yeah. So maybe we'll take today. Hooray. Yeah. All right, Mother. Sorry about all that. Yeah. This might go on a world cruise when you don't want that, isn't it?
Keith Lloyd and Derek Healy are on their way to a road accident. An 82-year-old woman and her disabled son have been knocked down. Right, guys, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Are you all right, sir? I don't know. So look at what he's done. Let's have a look. Well, I don't. Hey, I don't I you've got a nasty there. cut there. It's going to need a couple of stitches in. No, you're all right, sir. But apart from that, I think you're going to be all right. What happened? You're walking across the road, were you? Yeah. There wasn't any new way. There was nobody in... And all of a sudden, there was this car. Yeah. They come from nowhere, don't they? Yeah. Never mind. We'll look after you, though, I promise you. I would think you probably sprained it. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, I Can you feel that? It's not... Yeah, a bit, yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah. Can you move that leg at all? Oh, you go to anywhere else? I can walk on it, right? I'm not that aware of what it... What I want you to do is stay exactly where you are. Yeah. Don't move, all right? Yeah. yeah. Little check. No pains up here? No. Down the arms? No. Down by the elbows? No. Down here? No. What about inside? What about your ribs, okay? Yeah. Your hips? Yeah. Okay. What about your legs? Both all right? They hurt below the knee. Just below the knee? Just down here? Both up and Okay. Look at that, and not even a ladder in your nylons, eh? <laughs> I'll do all the puffing, you just do all the grunting. Right? Cover your little legs up. Cover your legs up. Right, I'm going to lift just here, all right? Okay. If you go out tonight, somebody will be drunk, want to tear your head off. Somebody will be high on acid, either want to tear your head off. But, um, you've just helped some little old lady. I think if you take every little old lady and treat them the way you treat your grandmother, that's all right. And every child, you treat as your own child. And every 30-year-old whinging female is your sister. And, um, well, it's not too bad. Officer, can you just give us a hand a minute? Lifting patients is part of the job, but it's also an occupational hazard. When I say, no, when I say three, yeah. after right. three, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, up. Oh, jeez! Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. <sighs> Right, Richard. Right. This is Derek Keating. He's a small champ. Uh, attending a road traffic accident, lifting a very heavy patient from the road, and uh, it's just um, pain in his lower back and neck. Injuries such as Derek Healy's are logged in the station's accident book. Twisted back whilst removing a patient. You see what I mean? Strained lower back whilst attempting to lift a patient. I mean, do it at the training school, you, you, you're sure now to do it, but, uh, you know, on the road, it's a totally different thing, you know. Very difficult. Did you anticipate that uh, women would have problems uh, doing the heavy work? Yes, we thought. We thought they would have uh, problems. We, we certainly did. We, we anticipated that they would have, but we, you know, it, it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. You know, obviously, if they, if they have problems, we would have the same problems, too, you see, so... Um, you know, you know, you think that uh, they'd be all weak and meek and... But uh, it hasn't happened. Uh, they handle it quite well. They handle it quite well. Has that surprised you? It has. It has, yeah. Yeah. We underestimate them sometimes, I'm sure. There we are, my love. Lady, eight years of age, hit by a car, gone over a nasty cut. Just the top of her right eye. No, she wasn't knocked out. She's quite with it. Um, doesn't feel... Takes a lot to knock me out. Takes a lot to knock her out. <laughs> Day four. Where do you want her son? Next door. Oh, yeah. There we are. If we put you in bay five, yeah. and then we'll put Richard on bay six, and then you can shout at him over the wall then. All right? Yeah. OK. Put your hands on your lap again. What we're going to do, we're going to lift it up. One. Yeah. Okay. Are you clever? Oh, oh we are clever. I'll see, I'll see you get a rise. You make sure I get a rise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. How's your legs? They're very sore. Just sore. Mm. All right. Yeah, we're coming. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just hang on now, Richard. Yeah, Here we go. All right, I can lie forward. Okay. Here we go. All One, right. two, three, up, right. and down. Down. Now, Thank where you. do you go? Back in the ambulance, can, you? We, can we get him up on the bed? Yeah. <laughs> this one down. 
Now, when we left him, if somebody could pull the stretch away from us, right, then I'll, we... I'll do. I'll do the hard bit there. <laughs> can you can get in there? Grab his bottom of his tops of his trousers. Yeah, I've got his. Yes. Okay, Richard. Here Sorry, we go. One, one two, two, three. Blimey. <sighs> I don't know who hurts more, you or me? Me. You're in? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll just square you up. Yeah. I'll go to sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> you lift him up? Yeah. Get up a bit more. Right. Push, with, push down with your good leg, can you? Yeah. If I get up a bit first to do it like that. That's it. That's it. I think. How's that? All right. We're going to do Richard, all right, isn't it? Eh? It's as good as we're going to do, isn't it? Yeah. Then? Don't worry, I'm an old good guff. No, you're all right. You're all right. Yeah. What's your feet? There we go. All right. You're going home in an hour. Back at the station, Keith Lloyd is cooking the night crew their evening meal. This is going to play absolute havoc on your cholesterol level. I'm like a mother to these fellows. Cooked in good English butter. Do your friends and colleagues know that you had had a drink problem? Mm. Everybody on the station knows. I'm a good person to have around because I've always got a car, they've always got a chauffeur. And nobody has ever tried to um, take the mickey, try to belittle me, or try to force a drink on me. Never. Um, and they don't mind. Do you think you've won the battle? I mean... Well, I like to think I have. I don't get blasé about it. I don't, um, I, every day I remember what I am. Every Saturday night, once, twice a month, I pick up somebody that's going to remind me of what I am, and it does me good. Let's just have a look at your face again. Let's just have a look. Stand still with him. There you go. That could be said in practice, well. Let's have a look. Anywhere else? No, I don't think so, yeah. Right, right, so there. No, you're not going anywhere. Right, now look, listen. Do you want to lift home? Yeah, Do you want to lift home? home? Yeah. Right, come, in with, like, come with us. Come with us. Sit yourself down there, boy. I'm all right. Sit down, mate. Sit yourself down. Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Andy. Walk up. Who's at home? Um, the girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yeah. You got a cut on your head. It doesn't need stitches. It's okay. It's great. Is that a hit or what? No, you fell on the floor. You fell in the car park. On the floor. That's all right. But it's better if you come with us. By the way, if we leave you with the law, you'll get nicked, and you don't want to get nicked. Do you? No, I don't want to get nicked. You spend your time trying to reach out to people, don't you? Yeah, you do. You have a go. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. There is a lot of stress in the job. When you go to a car accident, there's one car on fire, one overturned, three people laying over there, two there. People screaming and shouting all around, and you're the first on the scene, and you get up, and you can hear people saying, we're okay, we're okay. Here comes the ambulance man, we're all right. And you go into operation mode, and you're like a, you're like a swan. On the top of the surface, you're very graceful, and you just go along gracefully. But underneath, you're paddling like hell. And you think, oh my Christ, I should be head waiter on the QB2. I shouldn't be here. Keith Lloyd made sure that Graham arrived home without further injuries. Mary Henley was kept in hospital for a couple of days. The hospital could find no explanation for Sandra Theakston's stomach pains. Doris Spurgeon had stitches over an eye. Her son, Richard, suffered a sprained ankle.
And if, after watching Ambulance, you want to know more about first aid, we've prepared a list of some of the courses available in the Meridian area. If you'd like a copy, please write to this address, Ambulance, Meridian Television, Southampton, SO2, OTA. That's Ambulance, Meridian Television, Southampton, SO2, OTA.